One of the most highly anticipated CDs in Minnesota goes on sale tomorrow morning. Yeah, some people will start lining up tonight, though, to make sure that they get a copy of this year's Cities 97 sampler. Frank Vassalero and photographer Tony Noss spent the past nine months dis discovering how the sampler comes together and seeing how its proceeds help Minnesota charities. <laughs> Intimate performances yeah, love. by talented artists you found me, you found me. are what make the City's 97 sampler special and popular. Surrounded, surrounded. The fray performed at City's 97 Studio C last January. Where were you? Where were you? The radio station records several groups live works on getting permission for the charity compilation, and then narrows it down to one CD of never-before-released songs. The sampler is called the sampler because it is a representation of the different styles of music and the artists who come through the radio station over the course of the year. It's become a holiday must-have. People line up to get it. Fifteen years ago, it would sell out in about two weeks. Now, with Target as the exclusive retailer, it sells out in about two hours. You might as well take two. Might as well get two. Who wants to be right? Does the rain is harder when you're on time? This music means money. At a special gathering in September to give away the proceeds, there were a lot of smiles. 46 Minnesota charities would all walk away with a portion of a big pot. On behalf of Cities 97 and our, all of our partners, TCF Bank, uh, the Target Corporation, and McNally Smith School of Music, um, there's a million dollars for the Twin Cities community. And when we got the call, I was jumping up and down in my office, and I actually had to call back to make sure that we had, I said, are you sure we're the recipient? So we were excited, yeah. Very excited. Stacy DeCourcy is the principal of Jordan Elementary School. The money she received will help fund a project called Blessings in a Backpack. They send a backpack of food home with needy kids every Friday. The kids return it on Monday and it's refilled. I have to tell you, it's been really important to our community. Um, the economy is tight. Um, a lot of people losing jobs. It's been pretty powerful. The radio station asked listeners for leads on who should get the money. The result is a variety of causes. A sampling, as they like to say. A volunteer committee then reads every submission. It takes months. It's difficult to choose, but the payoff is worth it. In a time where everything is so tight and, and people are struggling, there's joy, and this is the this is the joy. This is the culmination of, of what we do. First year recipient Faith's Lodge calls it a huge honor to be selected. The eighteen thousand dollars is a relief in a time of reduced giving. The money will go straight into family programs. Face Lodge is a retreat in northern Wisconsin uh, that serves families who are coping with the uh, serious illness of a child uh, or families that have lost a child. I found God on the corner of first and I'm a What's in store for Volume 21? In addition to great music, this is a collector's item, so the cover art has to be part of the experience. Oh my gosh, look at the ticket. That is so cool. <laughs> that turned out great. Volume 21 has a map theme, a concept that might remind you of where you were when you heard a certain song or even inspire a road trip. It's playful and fun and different from prior years. So it kind of brings like this old school map together with this new technology uh, that a way that people find things, search out things. The Spangler design team donated its time and talent to submit several ideas. It's another way the sampler can maximize the amount it gives away. Once they picked the cover, it was on the way to production. 20 tracks are now embedded on volume 21. ADS Group in Plymouth stamped out 30,000 copies. But what's inside is more than good music wrapped in some hip packaging. Something good this way comes. We are, we are. To love. The city's 97 sampler has taken on a life of its own, important to its listeners, and making an impact on those it serves. So, music and community, there's nothing more important. Since it began, the city's 97 sampler has raised $7.4 million for Minnesota charities. Volume 21 costs about 25 bucks and goes on sale at some Target stores tomorrow morning at 8. 
and we'll put all the locations on our website at wcco.com slash links. Chris Shavers here with us today. Did you get yours? Coffee? I did, you know, and uh, I worked there as a DJ for three years, yeah. so I know all the hard work that goes into that disc, but as you know, the rewards are sweet. Incredible. Where'd you get yours? Uh, that would be from you. <laughs> you generous man, you. Yeah, I listened to it twice. It is fantastic. Yeah, it is I love it.